Welcome back to WWTF. We want to fax the game show on Mike C. I'm Fred Watch. Today we're reviewing the Apple Watch. Yes, finally got it. The yeah, Apple Watch. Yeah. I'm an Apple guy, man. Uh, <laughs> and before we do any uh, any type of review on it and we go into details with it, uh, first let me apologize. Um, we don't have anything to do a close-up of the watch, so we're just going to talk about it. And um, Mike, before we go ahead and talk about it, uh, let's go ahead and give it a review. Well, and Fred, I never touched Apple Watch, so I'm gonna let you give this review on this Apple Watch. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. So, the Apple Watch, man. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna give it a three out of five. Okay. Uh, quick question before you give it a three out of five: With this Apple Watch, um, can you use it on Android devices? No. Oh, so it's strictly an Apple product. Yes. Yes. All right. That's why I didn't touch it. Go ahead, Fred. Continue. <laughs> um, it's so many things that's wrong here. And like I said, I am a Apple fanatic. I am an Apple lover. I love everything Apple. I love iPads. I love iPhones. I love Mac Minis. I love the Mac Pros. Uh, I love Steve Jobs. Uh, rest in peace, bro. But um, this watch, I was so ready for it, and it broke my heart so bad, man. I felt like I was in fifth grade all over again. <laughs> Standing at the dance with my girl, just dancing with somebody else. Like, bro. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Let me let me start off with uh, some of the things that this watch does not do. First of all, the watch does not dial out. You can't dial out on this watch. What? You have to buy an app for that. And you have to actually buy. You have to buy an app for that. Wow. Out the box, the Apple Watch does not dial out. Now, wow. you can only dial the contacts that's in your phone or recent calls. And that's a problem, Mike, because if I meet somebody on the street and I'm networking and I don't have access to my phone, maybe my we're at E3 or something mm -hmm. and my, uh, my phone is in my backpack. And I'm like, okay, uh, let me network with you. Okay, this is my number. Uh, let me go ahead and jot your number down. Now, like on the Gear S, mm -hmm. you can do that. You can yep. dial the number and, of course, the number will be stored in your phone as a recent call. But this watch, it doesn't do it. Wow. It doesn't do it at all. Okay. Mm. Um, there are some good things about the Apple Watch. It's not all bad. Um, but that's one of the uh, the key things, bro. It, they should have put the dollar in that. Uh, another thing that the Apple Watch doesn't do, it doesn't run independent from the iPhone. So with that, what I'm saying is that if your iPhone is turned off, the features on the watch cannot be used at all okay um you can you can ping your watch or you can find your watch through an app just like you can find your phone through that through the watch um like i, I was going through something the day i was running late for work mm -hmm. and i couldn't find my phone but i had my apple watch on me mm -hmm. so i pinged my phone mm -hmm. and it found it okay. you know so that that's a good thing and uh another thing you have to be careful when you get these watches because they come in two different sizes. They come in a 38 and a 42 millimeter watch style. And the uh, the 38 is much smaller. It's like a woman's watch. Uh -huh. And it, it was crazy because when I got the watch, it was like male or female. Bruh. I said, what? <laughs> but they, they gave me the, uh, the, the 38 watch. Uh -huh. And then when I compared it with the um, 48, well, the 42, mm -hmm. I know there was, it was a lot bigger, mm -hmm. you know. Um, uh, <clears throat> a lot of other things with this watch, um, some good things now. But th <laughs> those were the only two things that I didn't like about it. And um, there's no camera on it. Now, I know people don't like cameras on their watches. Uh, or But it would have been, I, I would have, me, I would have preferred uh, the camera on the watch. Mm -hmm. Um, videos and stuff like that they can all be played on here through That's YouTube cool. okay. um, your messages uh, they come through you get all your notifications and actually it does this little uh, buzz thing mm -hmm. um, this vibration thing on your wrist while you're wearing it before uh, a notification come in like uh, either notification or a telephone call so it buzz you it pre-warns you uh, for that okay. um the uh, the bands are, are great. They're uh, interchangeable, so 
Uh, if you wanted to switch up the design a little bit on your watch, um, there's a lot of bands that you can go ahead and uh, switch out on that. Um, the, the clarity of the watch talking on it when you're contacting somebody in your contacts is excellent. Okay. Um, and I, I think that's about it. There's a lot of other reviews that you can watch about the watch, and they can show you some close-up footage and everything like that. But unfortunately, at this time, we can't do it. Um, I got a question. How much is it? Now, it's two different price points <laughs> on this watch. You can get, a, I believe, a 32 and a 64 gig watch. Wow. And it goes from um, about $300 oh. to about $400 and $1,200. For a watch? For a, a gold watch, oh. which is ridiculous, bro. $1,200 for, $1, for a watch. I, I wouldn't get it. Even if I was stacked up like that, <laughs> I wouldn't pay twelve hundred dollars for no watch, man. Mm, wow. You know, Apple got a lot of stuff with it, man. It's like <laughs> Apple tends to give you just enough to get the hype going when they already have the design for the next product that they're coming out with all yeah, the, the features Apple. that yeah, you wanted. Yeah. When they could have combined all of that in this watch. Mm -hmm. Uh as standalone if your if your phone is off, if if you know your power is off, um is, the watch is no good. Mm -hmm. You're not going to get anything coming through, nothing. Um, it doesn't have a Wi-Fi connectivity like the Gear S does. What? So um, you can't connect to it. It would have been good if, if it was associated mm -hmm. with a network because, of course, your Apple ID is on your watch uh -huh. and anything coming through, like phone calls or mail or mm -hmm. notifications or anything like that, they can come through and that would have been nice Mm -hmm. On this watch, right. they have that in the works. I'm telling you, Mike. Yeah, it's coming that's that's, that's going to be on the next watch. It's Apple Watch Two. Um, <laughs> it's coming out next year, probably. Watch. It's <laughs> you know, I I really I I I love. I mean, I would have loved this watch with it if it would have had a little bit more features, and mm -hmm. I was rooting on, on it, and I just could not wait until this watch came out. I was like, man, I'm I want it because it was Apple. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And when I got it, it was like big That's disappointment. Big slap, in the face. slap, slap in the face. Yeah, because the commercials or whatever, man. Maybe you want to get the watch, you know, right. little Mickey on the thing and all that stuff, man. And I was like, man, you got to pay for that. Of course, <laughs> most most watches, um, those faces, watch faces, you got to pay for. Wow. Anyway, um, but there are no free watch faces on here as of as of the uh, the date of this video. I haven't seen anything. Um, but all the apps you load through your phone, okay. and you can go ahead and plug it up, and um, you can connect it to iTunes, and you can plug it up that way and install apps and remove apps on that. Um, you know, it's a pretty good watch. It's not, it's not great. It's it's pretty good. I mean, you tell time, and it has the <laughs> health and fitness and the activities and all that. I mean, it's a good watch for people that have all Apple products, but is it better than the other watches that's out there on the market right now? No, mm -hmm. it's not. It's not better. It's not better than the Gear watch. I'm sorry. It's not better than the, the Gear S. Awesome. It's not even better than the Gear that was before that. It's not even better than the Gear S2 that's out right now. And the Gear S2 has no microphone. Well, let me. I'm being too hard on that. But <laughs> it's about the same as the Gear S2 on that. Um and. Really, uh, is it a buy for you? I mean, I know you don't have the watch. Oh, so what you just said, no. <laughs> is it, it a buy for you? Is it? Not the first generation. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I wouldn't get the first generation. I would, honestly, I would just go ahead and get the gear watch, mm -hmm. and I would lose out on, like, notifications and things like that. But at least I'll be able to dial and at least I'll be able to hear the ringtones mm -hmm. on my phone. Because, you, you know, you can call and um, from the uh, watch, and you can answer incoming calls from the watch, but there's no distinct ringtones on here. And sometimes I'm in a situation where I can't get to my phone, but I would like to know who's calling so I can call them back. Mm -hmm. And with this, every ringtone is the same. So that's... You know, that's kind of a blower. Right. I know they have the capability to Almost bring nothing. your Almost ringtones nothing. through here. If they can do it on the Galaxy Watch, why didn't they do it on this Apple Watch? Correct. So, I mean, it is on, bro. You can see 
Let me put my little passcode in here. Um, so I'm not telling you no lie, you know. Um, it, I mean, it's it's a good watch, man, but I wish that they would have put more into it. Because right now it's just, just to say I got an Apple Watch. Yeah. That's about it, you know. That's the only reason why some people may get it. But when you get it, you find out that um, you're going to be disappointed with this first generation watch. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. It's not It's not a buy for me. Wait till the, the second generation comes out, and then maybe it'll be a buy. I'll get it. I'll review it. And then it's up to you, the uh, viewers, to make your decision. But for me right now, uh, I, would, I would pass on it. I'm right. sorry. And I love Apple. And that's kind of hard for me to see. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. But, um... Yeah, that, that's going to do it for this episode, but we want to let you know that, uh, or we want to remind you that to uh, get the raffle tickets for the Xbox One raffle, mm -hmm. which will give you Rainbow Six, and it'll give you a year uh, subscription of Xbox Live. And what's the other raffle they were doing? Uh, right? The other one was doing this PS4 and the iPad Pro or Mini uh, Pad or whatever. You'll get an <laughs> iPad something. Yeah. Um, that's also $5 for the raffle, too. $5 is for, for the iPad and the PS4. Right. And so, uh, uh, sadly, that's going to do it for this that's episode. Right. And we're going to see you next time on WWTF. We want the facts. Don't get the Apple Watch the game show. <laughs> see you guys next time. Later.